Hey everybody, my name is Jake Wetzel. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to eliminate a load bearing wall in your basement. Um, we're going to be installing a W1088 steel beam up here above. So as you can see, if we step over here, we have built a, a temporary wall. This is our temporary wall. This is the existing wall. We're going to be bringing the steel beam through this window right here. Once we get it in place um, and set it down right here, build a secondary temp wall. And then right here, you can see we have a chain coming through the floor from the upstairs. This beam right here and this beam right here are supporting our lifting system upstairs. All right, so now we're upstairs. We're directly above where the load bearing wall is downstairs. Um, this is our lifting system. As you can see downstairs, only one side is currently supported, but the other side will be supported once we build the, the second wall. So we have a chain hoist right here, and then just some lifting straps. This is plenty strong to lift that beam. The beam is 2,400 pounds, uh, 30 feet long, 28 feet long. So it's a pretty big beam, and just here shortly, it's gonna show up on a truck, and we're going to hoist it in with a crane. Okay, our beam just showed up. Crane's over here behind us. Let's do it. All right, now we've got this beam set in the window. Crane did a great job. We're gonna slide it down the ramp. We got it down there on a floor jack. We're gonna slide it on in. Okay, now we've got the beam in the basement. We've got our tackle here. We're gonna put some pressure on the beam and then we're gonna build our second wall. Lift it in up to place. All right, as you can see right here, we've got some temporary support on the other side. The beam's in the middle. Now we're gonna, build, we're gonna grab this. The existing load bearing wall, we're gonna take it out. So we have a new temp over there. Got some temp supports over here. We're gonna pull out this one right here. All right, Jake Wetzel here again with Legacy Construction Group. We're here on day two. We ended up getting a little bit tired last time, so we decided for safety's sake to call it and come back today. We've got the chain hoist in place. Our wall built, we got the, the, the existing load bearing wall torn down. So now the whole floor is being supported right now with this temp wall here and our full temp wall on that side. What's left is we're gonna hoist it into place and set up our, our beams and drill it. Finishing up our project here. It's turned out really good. I think the homeowners are going to really like the bigger grand room in their basement. It's really made it more of an open space instead of two separate rooms. A couple things I'd like to say if any of you are going to attempt this at home, make sure you get the project engineered by a, a, an engineer as well as achieving or receiving a building permit for a project like this. That could really save you in the long run and it'll make sure your project turns out right. I hope you guys have learned a lot. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure you uh, subscribe down below. Thanks.